Hi, I'm Paula. I'm currently studying the Master of Aerospace at TUM because I really love the challenge of bringing self-built aircrafts in the air. I really love the practical part of our study program. I can learn how to design, build and fly our own aircrafts at the student group ACA model. Explore the future of aerospace engineering together with us. My name is Peter Geltner. I'm currently studying electrical engineering at the Technical University of Munich. In my free time, I fulfill my passion for prototyping and building aircraft at the student initiative Akamodel Munich. I'm fascinated by aerospace because of the challenge of designing highly complex aerial systems. My name is Klaus Drexler, I'm the head of the Institute for Carbon Composites at TUM. My name is Mirko Hornung, I'm heading the Institute for Aircraft Design at Technical University Munich. Hi, my name is Volker Gümmer and I'm leading the Institute of Turbo Machinery and Freight Propulsion. Hi, my name is Markus Rill, I'm the head of the Autonomous Aerial Systems Lab. I started my career 100 meters from here at the Messerschmitt Böckoblom Central Laboratories after my PhD in composite materials. Our research topics are green aerospace and zero emission airplanes. So we want to make planes more environmental friendly and to guide it to the future. And we invite you to be part of the team to work on our new materials, on advanced composites, on automation technologies. We are very well equipped with the most modern machines, very close to, to industrial level. So automation, digitalization, artificial intelligence, and the complete picture from material science to structure mechanics and process technology. This is our topic. Be part of our team. It's very exciting and it links the fundamental studies to real applications in aerospace. had the passion of aviation from the very beginning, from school. At the very beginning I was in the military forces, in the Air Force, having to do a lot of fighter aircraft. I even had the possibility to fly it twice, so it has really been an endeavor and that stayed in my professional life. I have been working with now Airbus Defense and Space on the military aircraft side. The last position was the head of the conceptual design department and exactly this is what we are doing at Technical University. So we are doing aircraft design from the conceptual design of civil fighter aircraft, but also drones it can be classical fixed wing drones or eVTOL drones, a new technology that enables us to fly vertically and also have high endurance. So this is a very interesting field, a lot of topics raising up in that domain and this is what we do and this is exactly also what you will gain when you get into the lecture so we'll talk about aircraft design we'll talk about structures we we'll talk about technologies as systems and all the combinations to that because aircraft design and the integration in the end this is really what makes it fly My passion for flying has already developed when I was a boy. It is really fascinating to see an aircraft taking off and going up in the sky. I'm your lecturer in all issues about aircraft propulsion. The propulsion unit, often called aero engine, it provides the large thrust which is required to push an aircraft forward and up in the sky. If you want to join us and study aircraft propulsion, you we'll be learning about how to use aerodynamic cycles to generate that large thrust. You will also learn about the individual components and how to match them in an aero engine to make it a operable propulsion system. And you will learn how to carry out the aerodynamic design and the structural design of engine components 
in particular turbo machinery, compressors and turbines, because these are the most fundamental and key components of an engine. Students designed a counter-rotating configuration or architecture of an engine. The smaller core engine here, that involves the aerodynamic power cycle and goes in some locations down to a very, very small size. And that makes the components of the turbo machinery in here also very, very tiny. And this in an environment where the pressure and the temperature is extremely high. That's here in the center of the engine. I've got such a tiny blade with me. This is a compressor blade of the rear stages of an axial, quite highly loaded aero engine compressor. Because of the tiny size, the aerodynamic design is very difficult and to achieve the right performance of the flow around the blade but it's also quite challenging to do the structural design of this blade. I was a researcher at MIT in Boston, and my research interests are autonomy of kind of drones. In my lab, we're using all kind of drones. So starting with the simple quadrotor drones that you might have seen, but we as well use fully actuated drones that are drones that have tilted propellers um, towards aerial manipulation. And we're as well working on large scale drones. So what we're interested in is how can we use larger drones to transport goods? So in the sense of imagine that you want to have an air conditioner on your roof and we'll bring you a drone and the drone automatically transports this air condition to your roof. If you're studying at TU Munich, um, you will learn how to control and how to fly these drones autonomously. Let me show you what we have. So this is a standard quadrotor drone. What we do at TU Munich is we fly those drones totally autonomously. We have a large compute platform, that's basically a laptop that we have underneath it, and we have a camera system on board. In this camera system, we're having four different cameras to understand the environment. So we're getting a depth image from these cameras. that We compute a depth image and then afterwards a representation of the environment. So we perceive where are obstacles, where, for example, cars, to understand where are moving obstacles, and all this on board of the drone. In my courses, you learn to build up a full stack of software how to control these drones. Autonomous Aerial Systems is a great interplay between different disciplines. So we have on one side aerospace engineering, but on the other side we're having robotics and machine learning. And in our field, we combine basically these three top technologies in one domain. I think there are rare fields in research that are so fast, rapidly developing, and secondly, we have as well a direct application industry. So you will not need to worry about finding a job afterwards. Research is really exciting. We are a fast developing team, usually a young team of highly motivated students. And we would be very happy to welcome you at TU Munich. With our new department of aerospace and geodesy here at the campus in Ottobrunn. We would like to invite you to join us and really get on our mission, which is called Mission Earth. So really the target is to use the aerospace technologies and to provide solutions for society, to better understand Earth, to provide new mobility solutions. And we all do it jointly in that team here on our new built campus. So come in and join us in the aerospace studies. Music